फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू कंट्रोल स्टार डेल्टा स्टार्टर विथ सेंसर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल नॉट यूज स्टार्ट पुश बटन इन स्टॉप पुश बटन फॉर कंट्रोलिंग स्टार डेल्टा स्टार्टर वेन स्टार्ट सेंसर इज ऑपरेट यू कैन सी और स्टार डेल्टा स्टार्टर इज ऑपरेट यू कैन सी वेन टाइम एंड टाइमिंग इज कंप्लीट सो स्टार कॉन्ट्रेक्टर विल स्टॉप एंड डेल्टा कॉन्ट्रेक्टर विल पिकअप and for stopping we will not use stop push button when stop sensor will operate start delta starter will stop okay let's see one more time when start sensor is operate you can see main contactor star contactor and timer is pick up when timer timing is complete so star contactor is stop and delta contactor will pick up and main contactor and delta contactor will run permanently okay and for if you want to stop start delta starter so just press stop sensor okay now for this control wiring which component is required first to see we connect three contactor okay first contactor is main contactor in main contactor we connect overload relay for protection of motor from overload and this is delta contactor and it is star contactor okay and we connect one eapl timer in this timer we have timer range from 3 second to 30 minute you can set timing range from this to dip switch now first we will set this timer circuit setting in 30 second okay so first you see how to set this dip switch first we set timer setting in 30 second now 3 second is set but we will set for 30 second okay and terminals a1 and a2 is coil in which we need to connect to 220 supply a2 is here and a1 in top 15 number point is common 15 and 16 is nc 15 number point is common and 60 is nc okay and 18 is no now second 25 is common 26 is nc 25 is common 26 is nc and 28 is no terminal in this timer we have two common to nc and to no terminals this is two wire two wire to 20 volt sensor first you will see you can see this is ac nc sensor that means it will operate on ac power supply and nc type sensor okay normal condition supply when we connect the supply sensor will pass supply from brown wire to blue wire brown wire is input wire and blue wire is output wire okay because sensor is nc and its operating voltage is 20 to 250 volt ac when sensor we connect to power supply sensor will pass supply when sensor is operate so supply will cut okay it will work as a stop push button and it is a ac no type sensor okay in normal condition it will cut the supply when sensor will operate so it will pass the supply okay and it is work as a no push button okay this is also two wire sensor brown wire is input and blue wire is output i hope you clear the concept first see drawing first line wire connect in overload relay nc terminal because when motor is overload so overload relay should trip and overload relay output connect in in normal condition we connect nc push button but in this control wiring we connect a sensor and it is two wire sensor so brown wire is input and blue wire is output in normal condition supply will pass from brown to blue wire okay now blue wire output is connect to the no sensor okay it is no sensor it is start sensor in this sensor we have also two wire brown wire is input and blue wire is output okay and when start sensor is operate so supply connects in main contactor okay and neutral connects directly in main contactor timer star contactor in delta contactor okay so first we connect to neutral directly okay neutral power connector is connect so this is a1 and a2 in which we need to connect to 220 supply it is timer a2 terminal so first we connect neutral wire from here to contactor a2 terminal timer a2 terminal delta contactor and star contactor a2 terminal okay now learn control wiring with line wire okay so first we connect to line wire connect first in overload relay 95 number point which is nc input terminal 
ANC output terminal first connect in ANC sensor input terminal which is brown wire okay I hope you clear the concept and blue wire output connect in start sensor okay okay first we connect brown wire in first connector and blue wire in second connector and same for the start sensor okay now for connection overload relay output first connect in start sensor input terminal which is brown wire so first we connect one connector in overload relay nc terminal output terminal and connect this connector to stop sensor nc sensor input terminal brown wire because nc supply continue will pass so it will work as a nc push button stop sensor so nc sensor output connect in start sensor input terminal which is you could be assume as a ino push button okay so nc sensor output will connect in ino sensor okay and when ino sensor or start sensor will operate so supply will pass and operate main contactor so we connect one connector from ino sensor output terminal which is blue wire okay so from blue wire we connect one connector from contactor coil a1 and neutral connects directly okay so when start sensor will operate our contactor will operate manually okay which time you sensor will operate so contactor will operate okay first we start control mcb when start sensor is operate you can see main contactor is operating but only for manual mode okay and for auto mode uh, for we need to provide holding supply so first learn how to provide holding supply so first uh, you can see we can connect a holding supply from ANC sensor output terminal or ANO sensor input terminal because supply continue comes here in this terminal so we connect one connector from ANC sensor output terminal first control MCB is off now ANC sensor output terminal we connect to one connector and connect this connector to contactor ANO terminal okay when main contactor will operate so supply pass in ANO output terminal contactor will operate so ANO makes ANC and we connect to one connector from ANO output terminal and connect this connector to contactor coil okay when main contactor is operate ANO makes ANC and supply connects in the coil okay for holding supply you can see in the drawing we use main contactor ANO terminal okay so it's a holding supply now first we see how it works okay so control MCB is on when start sensor is operate you can see main contactor is operate permanently and for stopping we use stop sensor okay so it is a simple dual starter now now we will see how to modify this dual starter to start delta starter okay now as you, as you can see when in start delta starter first main contactor is operate and timer is operate okay so you can see we will operate timer from main contactor coil when main contactor operate so at the same time timer will operate so we connect to one connector from main contactor coil to timer a1 terminal okay first mcb is off first we connect main contactor coil a1 terminal and connect one connector here and connect to the timer a1 terminal okay when main contactor operate so at the same time timer will operate okay in star delta starter as we know when main contactor is operate so star contactor is operate and after timing complete which is set in timer okay after completing time star contactor will stop and delta contactor will pick up and main and delta contactor runs continuously okay so for star contactor we connect one supply from timer ANC terminal okay and output of this ANC terminal connected delta contactor ANC terminal because of interlocking because when delta contactor stops supply will pass and operate star contactor okay now you first we will see we connect one connector from timer coil and connect this connector for power supply 15 number point which is common point 
ओके नाउ वेन टाइमर टाइमिंग इज ऑन बिकॉज वी से टेन सेकेंड सो फॉर टेन सेकेंड कॉमन सप्लाई कम्स इन एन सी टर्मिनल इन दिस कॉन्टेक्टर वी हैव ऑलरेडी एन सी टर्मिनल इफ यूर कॉन्टेक्टर डज नॉट हैव एनी एन सी टर्मिनल सो यूज एड ऑन ब्लॉक ओके बिकॉज वी हैव एन सी टर्मिनल सो फर्स्ट वी कनेक्ट दिस कनेक्टर एंड कॉन्टेक्टर एन सी टर्मिनल वेन कॉन्टेक्टर विल स्टॉप सो सप्लाई विल पास एंड दिस सप्लाई वी विल कनेक्ट इन स्टार कॉन्टेक्टर कॉल ए वन टर्मिनल ओके वेन टाइमर टाइमिंग इज ऑन सो सप्लाई विल पास वेन डेल्टा कॉन्टेक्टर इज स्टॉप सो सप्लाई विल पास एंड ऑपरेट स्टार कॉन्टेक्टर ओके नाउ फर्स्ट यू कैन सी नाउ फॉर डेल्टा कॉन्टेक्टर वी यूज टाइमर एनो टर्मिनल वेन टाइमर टाइमिंग इज कंप्लीट सो सप्लाई पास इन एनो टर्मिनल एंड फ्रॉम स्टार कॉन्टेक्टर एन सी टर्मिनल टू वी विल ऑपरेट डेल्टा कॉन्टेक्टर ओके फर्स्ट वेन टाइमर टाइमिंग इज कंप्लीट सो एन सी सप्लाई विल कट एंड कनेक्ट दिस सप्लाई टू एन ओ टर्मिनल सो वी कनेक्ट टू वन एनो टर्मिनल एंड कनेक्ट दिस सप्लाई टू स्टार कॉन्टेक्टर एन सी टर्मिनल एंड आउटपुट ऑफ दिस एन सी टर्मिनल वी विल कनेक्ट इन डेल्टा कॉन्टेक्टर कॉल ओके वेन टाइमर टाइमिंग इज कंप्लीट सो सप्लाई विल पास वेन स्टार कॉन्टेक्टर इज स्टॉप सो सप्लाई विल पास एंड ऑपरेट डेल्टा कॉन्टेक्टर ओके नाउ फॉर वर्किंग वेन स्टार्ट सेंसर इज ऑपरेट वी सेट टेन सेकेंड इन दिस टाइमर वेन स्टार्ट सेंसर इज ऑपरेट मेन कॉन्टेक्टर टाइमर and the start contact star contactor is operate after time completing time star contactor is stop and delta contactor will pick up first see one more time for stopping press the stop sensor when the start sensor is operate main contactor and the star contactor operate after completing time star contactor will stop and delta contactor will pick up i hope you clear the concept how star delta starter can control with sensor if you like this video please press like button for today's enough we'll meet in next video thanks for watching